morning everyone welcome to a little day in my life type vlog i love doing these i used to do them only once a month i'm trying to do them more often because if i'm being honest there's one of the videos I really genuinely to my core enjoy doing and I'm trying to find more of that here on my YouTube channel doing more things that I personally find joy in you know what I mean I'm the one that has to film it and live it and then edit it and it's a representation of me so this is something right now in my life I'm enjoying I hope you guys are too okay geez just get off your high horse no one's making that big of a stink about it I just got out of the shower I've got my coffee which is mostly gone now letting my hair air dry a bit I might actually like style it today too we'll see but just threw on the Neutrogena Hydro Boost little lip treatment I love. I'm throwing on some vitamin C serum. I actually just put self tanner on, so I'm trying to like be careful, but it's like an express one that I love. So the nice thing is I could just take like a quick body shower in two hours and rinse it off and I'm like good to go and it lasts like a week. It's really, really good. My plans for today are I need to film a video and edit that same video. I also need to grocery shop. So I'll definitely share some of that with you, some of the groceries we get each time we go to the grocery store. The day I'm filming this is a Friday and that is not normally a day that I film or edit or work. Usually I'm playing with my daughter and stuff, but the way things have kind of stacked up this month, I really needed to film today to keep with my normal three videos a week schedule. Long story short, my husband was so sweet and he said that he would take the day off of working. And the reality is he's a Disney travel agent and right now things are a little slow when it comes to that understandably with everything going on so I did want to let you know early on that this video is sponsored by ritual thank you so much for supporting my channel we'll be talking about that in just a little bit I think I'm gonna mix this Maybelline dream BB fresh cream BB cream you know what I mean with my Misha BB cream just to see I've actually been quite enjoying this but I also this is like holy grail I don't know that a single video ever goes by where I don't bring up the BB cream I've got to stop but I, I just can't but this Maybelline BB cream is kind of nice because it's really lightweight like it blends in really fast it doesn't have crazy coverage but it's got enough a lot of you guys were asking and I don't know if this is just a relaunch of something they used to have or maybe they still had and they repackaged I do remember long ago probably trying either this or something very similar from this like Maybelline BB line and not liking it but that was back when I liked fuller coverage products so just because you know my tastes have changed a bit and what I like and what I have time for most mornings. So another thing I've been using a lot, I made this little palette. If you saw my like vanity declutter and just like kind of going through my makeup recently, I can link it up in the eye and down below. I kind of created this little MAC palette out of some of my MAC shadows. And my favorite two to use lately has been Naked Lunch and then Soft Brown. Like it's very simple. It looks very much like my traditional everyday look. I feel like literally these three colors, I think this is cork, soft brown, and naked lunch. Those are like just the same as the three colors I always use in my Charlotte Tilbury quad. So if you were wanting to make your own kind of thing, those would be three shades that like nearly get you there, you know? But yeah, so I've just been taking naked lunch all over the lid. It's one of those shadows that the name is kind of appropriate, like naked, because it definitely hardly looks like I'm wearing the shadow but it's got this really pretty like light sheen to it so when it's caught in the right lighting it just looks lovely like you might just be naturally glowing on your eyes <laughs> but i always joke with tyler like i feel like disney characters always have like glossy eyelids and so every once in a while when tyler's in bed i'll be like tyler you've got disney like glossy eyelids like he'll just have like gloss on i can't explain it Anyway, so then I just take soft brown and toss it into the crease and that's usually all I do for every day like when it comes to eyeshadow. And it just looks put together, simple. It doesn't look like you tried too hard if you're doing something where you don't want to look like you did. Don't you feel like there are events like that in your life that you're like, I don't want to look like I spent two hours getting ready today for this. But then there are other events that you do. And now of course I can't like think of any one, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Are any of us going to any events anyway right now? Okay, and also Honey Lust, I just put on my lids. This shade here, I had to pop it out because I didn't remember what it was called. This would be, if you were doing a little quad, this should be your fourth one if you like what I like. It is like the prettiest, look at that like glimmer. Oh my gosh, I just tapped it on the lid and again, it catches the light so beautifully. I've been falling more and more in love with this Physicians Formula, it's their eye booster, but it's their waterproof liquid liner. And first of all, the packaging is really cute because it's got these like little water beadlet droplets on it, but I can get a killer wing with this and it stays all day. So I've really been enjoying this and then on um, the opposite end of the price spectrum, I have been trying the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. This. 
I like. It is definitely a tubing mascara, so you all you need is warm water to get it off. Now, if you're like me, it takes like three freaking minutes for the warm water to kick in up in our master bathroom, so that's it's not a, always as easy as that for me. But anyway, I really like it though. It holds the curl. It does not budge. It doesn't flake. It's expensive, but it's expensive the same way the Thrive Cosmetics one that is also their tubing mascara. I love that. These are like the same product. They are so, so similar. And this was sent to me in PR, by the way. So as I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Ritual, and one part of my daily routine is taking a multivitamin. So I take the Ritual Essential for Women multivitamin every single day. And my thing is, even with a perfect diet, it can be hard to get all of the nutrients your body needs. And Ritual really helps fill the gaps in my diet. It doesn't have any fillers or colorants or shady additives in it. So it is an obsessively researched multivitamin that contains nine high quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3 that again can be really hard to get enough of in your diet on a daily basis. You take two easy to take capsules every single day. You can take them morning or night. It has a no nausea capsule design, which I personally love because I'm someone that always felt nauseated after taking vitamins and I have never had that feeling from this, which is incredible. It's vegan friendly, sugar free, non GMO, allergen free, gluten free. It's just incredible. And I love that when you click around on ritual site, you can see exactly what ingredients are in here, what they're supposed to do for your body and where they were sourced from. And I think that level of transparency is so awesome and so important. Because for me, when I would take other multivitamins, I just never really knew what everything in it was supposed to be doing for me, where was it coming from. I also love that they're minty. There's a little mint tab in here. Keeps the vitamins smelling super fresh. So they do offer women's 50 plus multivitamins. They also offer prenatal vitamins that if we do end up having another kid, I already know that's gonna be the prenatal I decide to take. And the best part is it's delivered to your door subscription. You don't have to think about it. There's no strings attached, no extra charges. It breaks down to a dollar a day, which is a really small step to build a healthy foundation for your body. Obviously better health doesn't just happen overnight. So Ritual is offering you 10% off your first three months. You can fill in the gaps in your diet with their Essential for Women, which is what I take. So for 10% off your first three months, you can go to ritual.com slash jbrawn and enter code jbrawn at checkout. And thank you again, Ritual, for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel and also making really great multivitamins. <laughs> <laughs> your hair fell out again. Daddy, 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 Daddy wear it? Daddy. That's not... <laughs> this is a pretty accurate portrayal. This girl loves to color, could do it all day long, and then this boy loves to sleep, he could do it all day long. This is Pinocchio, by the way, our beagle. But yeah, these color wonder things are like the best invention ever. Oh my gosh, I don't know how parents did it without. These are the little roadster racers. We need to get her some, um, they only have so many options. I'm like, hey, dang, they need to like widen the market here because I feel like there's so many like niche kid shows and kids characters that they could really be banking on anyway. So I have a question for y'all. I have heard a lot about, okay, so we have a machine that we can make like espresso in and like we make Nespresso brand, right? Well, I keep hearing about people touting that the like Nespresso branded machines that make like regular coffee too are so much better than Keurig. And we've had our Keurig for a very, very, very long time. And so like we have an old Keurig upstairs, then this is our newer one, but even it is old. So I've thought about like maybe for Christmas, like asking for a Nespresso machine, like a coffee. Nes do you guys know what I'm saying? I wanna know if you have one, do you think it's better than Keurig? Like we use a refillable thing, but I know with Nespresso pods, you can recycle them. And so I think that's pretty cool that you literally send them in, they recycle them for you, and they give you the bag for it, you can mail it, it's so easy. So I'm just, I'm thinking about it. I wanna know your guys' thoughts. Do you already have one? Do you love it? Do you think it's better than Keurig? Do you think it's better than other coffees? Cause we are both coffee addicts, I mean, to the max. And so that's something that, it's important to me, you know? I need to have like great coffee every day. The reason it's on my mind is because I'm about to make uh, another cup of coffee, of course. <laughs> so I just finished filming a video and it is like the rainiest day outside. I cannot get it to like show it properly. I keep trying on different cameras and none of it, you know how the cameras, they never translate it perfectly. But it was kind of cool because I'm like drinking my coffee and like looking out at the rain and I just put up my little fall leaf thing. Let me show you it. It's like this thing I got on Amazon and actually you can take the leaves out and replace it with like little flowers and it has these 
little lights is so cute and I love pulling it out every fall. It like instantly makes me feel all the vibes. So, a couple things, eating some lunch. Tyler's gonna have a salad <laughs> and I'm gonna have pasta. This is actually the Bonza chickpea pasta and then just some Rao's marinara sauce on it. It's just easy but really good and really good leftover too. And then these grapes are starting to get old so Tyler and I are like, we're just gonna eat them all right now. So we're gonna see how many of those we can tackle. And uh, actually I mentioned earlier, I do need to grocery shop. So what I typically do before I grocery shop is make a little list of the dinners we wanna make that week. If it's not a week, we're getting like HelloFresh. And so this is last week's list actually, and we've already had all of those. So sesame chicken noodles, we know we're gonna make, but we gotta figure out the rest of them so that I can add the ingredients to our grocery list, etc. got our mask. I'm going to the grocery store now. I did end up finishing editing the video I was working on, so that is good. And now it looks like the rain has subsided, which is perfect. So I'm going to head out to the store. Gigi is still napping, which is great. So I'm going to see if I can be like in and back in an hour. And I figure I'll show you some of the things I get because I know I get a lot of questions about that and I love doing like grocery hauls. Okay. I like watching grocery hauls, so I'll definitely share some of the things we pick up. Does anyone ever giggle when they see someone in their car with their mask on? Also, this mask is from the brand Kitsch, and I think I got them on Ulta, and it was a three-pack with this, and then a this like pink one, and then there was one other one, but I haven't seen it in a long time. But yeah, they're super cute. They wash really well. I just wash them in the, you know, like laundry. I really like them. They're pretty comfortable. They're definitely a little thicker, so if it's super hot and you're gonna be outside, these might not be the best option, but yeah. Also, does anyone else now have like a bin in their house that's filled with masks or whatever masks you have? So anytime we wear some and wash them, they go in here so we know they're clean. And then these were ones we bought early on while we were waiting to get like cloth ones that we have that are disposable, which are nice to have too, because when it's super, super hot out, these are so much more comfortable to wear, but we try to wear the reusable ones whenever we can. All right, we are re-sanitized and about to head home. I uh, got a few things I'm actually really excited about trying this weekend, so yay. Okay, so I'm gonna try to, before Genevieve has a breakdown, show y'all what I got. So I got her some things uh, just for the week. She really, really likes these little snack bars, so that's something, and we always have some kind of pouch on hand because she's not a big fan of vegetables. Um, and then just little snacks and stuff. She also really, really likes these and they have a little bit of veggies in them too. Uh, this is our favorite bread right now. This is the Dave's Killer Bread and it's the white bread done right and it is so good. Genevieve likes it too, so that's a win. I'm trying to kind of skim through. Got some cheese. We like having pepperoni just because I like to snack on it, honestly. <laughs> Got a cheese. This is our favorite butter of all time, the Kerrygold Irish butter. It's expensive, but you know what? It tastes totally different. It's it's so good. Got her some yogurt. I also got a pack of the Virgil's root beer. This is one of my favorites. Zero sugar, like zero everything, literally. And it tastes pretty darn good. And then this was one of the fun things I was referencing. This absolute mango mule sparkling drink. I'm like, uh, okay, I'm interested. Again, probably overpriced, but well, honey. Anyway, got some wine. Actually, one of the recipes we're making this week calls for wine, and then, you know, what, baby? All right, I've got her squared away with markers over there. All right. Uh, what else do we get? Oh, our favorite eggs are these pasture-raised eggs from the brand Vital Farms. Some apples, some frozen fruit for our smoothies we make a couple times a week. Some berries that were on sale. We've got some eggplant. What is it Tyler's making? I think it's vegetarian moussaka. And then some broccoli, spinach, some ranch, some chicken. This is one of our absolute favorite dressings ever, this balsamic vinaigrette from Primal Kitchen. It tastes so, so good. If you go in the deli section, they have like different brands sell just grilled chicken that's already cooked, but it's ready to eat. So you could eat it cold, like on salad, or you could warm it up. What I've been doing lately is just like on a little wrap, throwing a little bit of this on, some greens of some kind, some tomato, and kind of making a little like sandwich wrap. And it's so 
so good. And then another thing you can do if you want to be a little unhealthier, but it is delicious, warm it and then put a little bit of cheese and ranch on it and put it in a wrap. And then it's like a really delicious chicken wrap. Anyway, got some diapers for her. I got some detergent I needed, lemon shine we use in our dishwasher and it is amazing. So yeah. Oh my gosh. And then this, this is this Glade fall night long stuff. It's like a limited edition fall scent and I lost it when I smelled this. I was like, okay, fine, I'm buying it. And it's a little two pack. It wasn't too terribly priced, but the problem is these don't last very long. But guys, the smell, the smell. Oh my. Did, did, you, did you mean to do that? Look yeah. at all these hair ties. She won't let me do her hair again. Oh my gosh. Well, well here's the thing. I was gonna say, it says they're ultra clean. And so we are gonna test this and see if all this comes clean. <laughs> so for dinner tonight, I'm we're just gonna heat up some leftovers. This is a chickpea pot pie. I, we can put the recipe below. It is one of my absolute favorite dishes. It's so good. We just may be the king and queen of leftovers. We like love play eating mommy. leftovers. Okay, I'll play, play with you. Play mommy. Okay. Play mommy. By the way, the markers didn't totally come off. It came off really easily off of like her face and the table but her hands since she colored directly on them they're still like smurf blue so there we are we're like the king and queen of leftovers we love them we eat them all the time but i feel like some people can be really weird about leftovers like they don't like them so i'm curious are you a leftovers person or no so i just gave genevieve a bath and laid her down and uh we are actually tyler's already on the call we're doing a zoom game night with some friends of ours so that is exciting i think i've got a glass of wine waiting downstairs for me and i'm like Anywho, so that's what we'll be doing. I will check back in in a bit because I think we're only going to be on it for a couple hours and then maybe like hour, hour and a half and then I need to wash this makeup off from today because I have like, I mean, I would wash it off regardless, but I'm definitely getting a little bit of that like mask knee type, you know what I mean? Breakouts where you wear a mask. Anyone else? That stuff is real, man. Well, we are ending it where we began. <laughs> so we had so much fun. We did like Jackbox games, which if you've never played them, they're so fun. You have to like pay, like someone has to own the game, so you have to like pay for them. Once you own them, you own them, and then on Zoom you can play them together, and it's so much fun. So that was enjoyable. It was good seeing some friends we haven't seen in a while. Honestly, I don't know that we'd even seen them on Zoom since quarantine started, so that was nice. So I'm gonna wash my face. I'm still using the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I don't switch it up often, because frankly, it's a cleanser that works for me so well, you know? But this is what it looks like. It just feels amazing on the skin. Also, one of my nails came off. But one thing I am still using all the time and still loving is this Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I actually, so I have these <laughs> reusable cotton rounds. I typically will put it on there and wipe it on, but they were all dirty because you just wash them like in the washing machine. They were all dirty. So for a week or like, okay, fine, three weeks, <laughs> I kept forgetting to wash them. And so I was using this still every other night, but I was just putting it in my hand and putting it on. And I was kind of like, honestly, it kind of feels better to do it that way. So. Now that those are clean, I can use them, but I think I'm just gonna use my hands because I feel like you don't waste any product. You can still wipe it all over. And this product, I'm telling you, like the texture of my skin is more even because of this. The like redness on my skin is more even. It's just such an amazing, amazing product. So anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go here, but I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into a day in my life. I'm, I'm definitely gonna do another one this month if you are interested in checking it out. Definitely subscribe, stay tuned. I upload three videos a week. And thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel, and I will see you guys in my next one.